Hello to all furniture designers, manufacturers, and enthusiasts. In this video, I will briefly introduce the functions of the new version 1.1.0 of JoinerCAD. Fusion 360 software is constantly updated, and updates also bring new opportunities for extensions developers. From now on, JoinerCAD will have its own tab at the top of Fusion 360 ribbon, which is what you see right now. Click on it to open JoinerCAD environment, which contains all woodworking tools. From now on, woodworkers can use a new function of JoinerCAD called Used Materials. This tool allows the user to quickly and easily check which JoinerCAD fill material or cover material groups have been assigned to parts in the model of furniture. The tool can be opened from JoinerCAD Materials toolbar and can be easily pinned to the toolbar like this. So, I open the Used Materials tool in JoinerCAD. The Open dialog window shows the list of all material groups used in the model. Then I select the material group with a single click. This automatically highlights all parts in a model which have this particular material group assigned to them. As you can see now, all edges of parts in the model have the same cover material group assigned to them. PVC edge band, 2 mm thick, except for one edge, where thickness of the same cover material group is 1 mm. In order to change the thickness of cover material assigned to the part, I open the cover material assignment function and select the 2 mm thickness. Now we see that the thickness of all cover materials assigned to the part edges is the same, 2 mm. Sets of parts of a model with the same fill or cover material can be selected in the same way and these groups can be replaced by another group all at once. This saves a lot of design time because the assigned material does not have to be changed for each part individually. Let's move on to the next new function of JoinerCAD. Pre-mill allowance. In order to be completely clear about what it is and what it is intended for, let us watch a brief theoretical introduction first. First, we have a final part with a width of 100 millimeters. For one edge of this part, a sunk 2 millimeter edge band is assigned. In such case, the final width of 100 millimeters of the part includes a 98 millimeter workpiece of fill material and a 2 mm thick edge band. If pre-mill allowance is used, for example, 10 mm, the final width of this workpiece is 108 mm. Now I will show how it works in reality. I run the bomb generator which shows that the size of the tabletop workpiece and the final dimensions of the part are the same. I open the cover material group assignment tool and assigned two millimeter thick sunk edge bands to the three edges of the tabletop. I run the bomb generator again, and we can see that the dimensions of the part remain the same, but the dimensions of the workpiece were reduced by 2 mm on each side due to the selected edge banding. In the settings window, I specify that 10 mm pre-mill allowance has to be used for edges with 2 mm edge bands. I open the cover material group assignment tool again, where we now see the size of pre-mill allowance for the edges. So, I assign edge bands with 10 mm pre-mill allowance for the edges of this part. Now I have to run the bomb generator again and find the dimensions of the tabletop part.
we can see that 20 mm pre-mill allowance has been added to the dimensions of the workpiece, that is, 10 mm on each side. Thank you for watching. Good luck!